So I've got a gorgeous little recipe today to share with you. It doesn't even need to be cooked in a camp oven. It can be cooked right on top of the stove top. So I'm gonna show you how to make a rainbow birthday cake um, without having to use camp oven at all. So let's get stuck in and get started. So we're going to add two cups of flour to our bowl, a couple of tablespoons of honey, although you can use sugar if you prefer, two eggs, and also enough milk just to combine all the ingredients. Then you just keep on pouring in a little bit more milk at a time until you get a really thick pancake mix. From there now what we need to do is divide our mixture into four. So I've got three empty bowls. I'm going to put a little bit in each empty bowl and then I will put in um, an individual colour. So that means that I've got four different coloured pancakes. Okay, so now we've got all of our beautiful colours here. So all we have to do is cook them up just like you would an ordinary pancake. I've got some little bit of butter on here and I'm just going to tip my pancake mix out onto it. Look at that beautiful green. Show me a kid that wouldn't love to get a beautiful green rainbow pancake cake for their birthday. We're going to spread that out a little bit. Because it is quite thick, you will need to spread it out quite a bit. And now from here, all we need to do is just cook it. So once it starts getting bubbles in it, then it's time to flip it over onto the other side. Well, that's it. That's how simple it can be. Off comes the last one. Now we're just going to pop them all the way into the angle and we're going to let them get really cold. And they must be cold because if they are not cold when you put the cream in, the cream will melt. So now's the time to put it all together and make somebody really happy. So we have got our beautiful colorful pancakes, all nice and cold. Now I've decided that I'm actually gonna put a bit more sugar in and add some jam. So I've got some uh, homemade uh, fruit jam here from out of my pantry. So I'm just going to put a tiny little smearing on. Yeah, right. Pop that on and then we need some cream. So I've uh, whipped up some cream and that's all nice and thick and beautiful. So you need to get the whipping cream and whip it up. About 600 millilitres of it you will need. And then just put a nice thin smear of cream over the top of the jam. You've got to remember, of course, that you've got to leave some cream to have um, on the top. So don't use it all at once. Now we just get another pancake and we put that on top. And we do the same thing all again. A bit more jam, smear that on. Pop it around. Okay, so look at that. How easy. I bet that will put the biggest smile on some little kid's face. And you know what? You can actually make an adult version of this as well too. Instead of putting the food colouring in, you use cocoa. And then you can use those um, cherries. And you can even soak the pancakes with a little bit of booze. So there you go. Nice adult version to go for somebody who's having a birthday out in the bush. Now, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's see which colour we go. I think I'm going to go the hundreds and thousands. So this is it. We'll pop some hundreds and thousands on the top. Now, the important thing about this is, is that you really need to pop it away in the angle for at least two hours because the cream then sets and it goes all nice and hard and you can cut it and the cream doesn't squish out the side. Pop a few birthday candles on the top present that up to the birthday boy or girl or adult and they will be absolutely loving you forever especially that you made it out in the middle of the bush and you went to so much effort to do it brilliant easy alternative to make a birthday cake